Deep learning has many super cool use cases. It can automatically translate words and images. It can beat the top players at games. And it can even turn your drawings into a cat. And there's way more, even more exciting ways that deep learning is being used. But what actually is deep learning and how does it work? That's what this course is all about. Hi, I'm Bo Carnes. I'll be teaching this video course based on the book Grokking Deep Learning by Andrew Trask. I'm a software developer and teacher. I'm also the creator of another video course from Manning Publications called Algorithms in Motion, which is a great introduction to algorithms. Deep learning represents an exciting intersection of machine learning and artificial intelligence and a very significant disruption to society and industry. The methods discussed in this course are changing the world all around you. From optimizing the engine of your car to deciding which content to view on social media, it's everywhere. It's powerful and it's fun. So why should you learn deep learning? It is a powerful tool for the incremental automation of intelligence. From the beginning of time, humans have been building better and better tools to understand and control the environment around us. Deep learning is today's chapter in this story of innovation. Perhaps what makes this chapter so compelling is that this field is more of a mental innovation than a mechanical one. Much like its sister fields in machine learning, deep learning seeks to automate intelligence bit by bit. And in the past few years, it has achieved enormous success and progress in this endeavor. It's exceeded previous records in computer vision, speech recognition, machine translation, and many other tasks. This is particularly extraordinary given that deep learning seems to use largely the same brain-inspired algorithm, neural networks, for achieving these accomplishments across the vast number of fields. Another reason you should learn deep learning is that it has the potential for significant automation of skilled labor. There is a substantial amount of hype around the potential impacts of deep learning if the current trend of progress is extrapolated at varying speeds. While many of these predictions are overzealous, there is one th that I think merits your consideration. Job displacement. I think that this claim stands out from the rest for no other reason than if deep learning's innovations stop today, there would already be an, ex in an incredible impact on skilled labor around the globe. Call center operations, taxi drivers, and low-level business analysts are compelling examples where deep learning can provide a low-cost alternative. Fortunately, the economy doesn't turn on a dime, but in many ways we are already past the point of concern with the current power of the technology. It is my hope that you and people you know will be enabled by this course to transition from perhaps one of the industries facing disruption into an industry ripe with growth and prosperity, deep learning. It's fun and incredibly creative. Consider having a data set filled with every painting ever painted and then using that to teach a machine how to paint like Monet. Insanely, it's possible, and it's mind-bogglingly cool to see how it works. So how hard will you have to work before there is a fun payoff? Well, my definition of a fun payoff is the experience of witnessing something that I built learning. There's just something amazing about seeing a creation of your hands do something like that. If you also feel this way, then the answer is simple. A few minutes into Unit 3, you'll create your first neural network. And then after Unit 3, you may be interested to know that the next fun payoff occurs after you have memorized a small snippet of code and proceeded to watch to the middle of Unit 4. Each unit will continue to work this way. Memorize a small code segment from the previous unit, watch the next unit, and then experience the payoff of a new learning neural network. So why would you watch this course? 
Something that sets this course apart from others is a uniquely low barrier to entry. I don't assume you have advanced knowledge of mathematics. It's not necessary to assume advanced knowledge of math in order to become a skilled, knowledgeable practitioner who has a firm understanding of the how behind deep learning. I'm going to assume you have a high school level background in math and that it's rusty and explain everything else you need to know as we go along. Remember multiplication? Remember XY graphs? Awesome, you'll be fine. In the next module, I'll go into a little more detail about what you need to know to be successful. Another reason to watch this course is it will help you understand what's inside a framework. There are two major groups of deep learning educational material. One group is focused around how to use popular frameworks and code libraries such as Torch, TensorFlow, Keras, and others. The other group is focused around teaching deep learning itself, otherwise known as the science under the hood of these major frameworks. Ultimately, learning about both is important. It's like if you want to be a NASCAR driver. You need to learn both about the particular model of car you're driving, the framework, and about driving itself, the science or skill. However, just learning about a framework is like learning about the pros and cons of a Generation 6 Chevrolet SS before you know what a stick shift is. This course is about teaching you what deep learning is so you can then be prepared to learn a framework. In this course, all math related material will be backed by intuitive analogies. I'll break apart any formulas and offer an alternative analogy for what the formulas are actually doing. This course is project based. You will never have to question whether or not what you're learning is useful or relevant. If someone is teaching me everything there is to know about a hammer without actually taking my hand and helping me drive in a nail, then they're not really teaching me how to use a hammer. I know that there are going to be dots that weren't connected. And if I was thrown out into the real world with a hammer, a box of nails, and a bunch of 2x4s, I'm going to have to do some guesswork. This course is about giving you the wood, nails, and a hammer before telling you about what they do. Each lesson is about picking up the tools and building stuff with them and explaining how stuff works along the way. In this way, you don't leave with a list of facts about the various deep learning tools we'll work with. You leave with the ability to use them to solve problems. Furthermore, you will understand the most important part, when and why each tool is appropriate for each problem you want to solve. And you will get to apply this knowledge to some real world problems, such as determining the meaning of streetlights and identifying handwritten numbers. It is with this experience and knowledge that you will be empowered to pursue a career in research and or industry. In the next module, I'll be discussing some of the actual software tools you need and what minimal prerequisite knowledge you should have.